Me, Miriam Makeba played for me in Liberia. And I never dreamt that I'd be in the same show, perform with them. I always thought they were very great. And it was just so gratifying to see them uh, singing in a language that nobody understood, but just take everybody away. I think also at that particular concert in Harare, there were a lot of uh, South Africans who had traveled to Harare in order to see the show. So for you as well, it was, you had a chance really to play to South Africans, which you hadn't had for a long time. Um, Maybe? Well, it, was, it didn't really feel like that as much as it felt like um, how South Africa could probably ideally be. You yeah. know, the vibe there, like just the mixture of people. Um, I mean, I just came back from South Africa, and you can smell that people would like to live like that, but they're not being allowed yet. But it was just something that we'd never seen uh, in an African stadium was like uh, the mixture of European and African people having a great time. And it seemed like um, uh, sort of a great thing to aspire for. And, uh, and uh, that was the greatest vibe, you know. We heard that some people had come from South Africa, but I think people came from the whole area. And uh, it had been, I think the South African government at the time had made it difficult for a lot of people to come uh, to uh, Harare. But a lot of people, I think, had come in pretense of uh, uh, coming to do something else long before the event. And. Um, it was it was a uh, it was a dream a dream vibe yeah. You say you've just come back from South Africa. Have you have you made the journey back again because of recent developments? I know. Uh, a well, lot basically, uh, I made the journey back because uh, we were given amnesty, so to speak, by um, uh, 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 the government, and um, they allowed uh, they gave Miriam Makeba, Abdullah Ibrahim, Ibrahim myself. And they're giving all the artists uh, uh, clearance to come back home. And I hadn't been home for 30 years. I hadn't seen my family, which are thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And, um, and hundreds and hundreds of great friends that I'd grown up with. And I also wanted to see what, the, what was really happening in the country, how it felt. Uh, I hadn't been there in 30 years, and I just had a, a yearning feeling that I was going to be safe this time going. Uh, I took advantage of it, and um, it was a great eye-opener for me. Things changed a lot. I think it's impossible for um, uh, somebody to announce something in February, and then in October things could have changed mm. in a country that has been uh, destroyed, I mean, for the last 100 years, and really been pummeled for the last 42 years by the present regime. The British